Hello everyone, and welcome to technically the very first episode of my interactive Skyrim Let's Play. Te I say technically because this is um, the first actual video where I take a suggestion. Um, the last episode was just an introduction to the series. So today's suggestion comes from um, a user named Blackjack Kent, and she wants me to go get a horse. Um, because she hears they're pretty awesome. And um, I actually know this user by, well I don't know about her by name, but I've talked with her quite a bit, so. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to take her suggestion. There was quite a few other good suggestions out there, uh, so I'm sorry that yours did not get picked, but keep commenting on um, the next videos. I'll make a, after this video, I'll make a what's next video, or you can comment on that and leave a suggestion. So yeah, this is the start of my interactive Skyrim Let's Play, and it's going to be awesome, I think. Um, Alright, so we have to go get a horse. But the first thing we're going to do is try to get a little bit better equipment. Because um, I'm not starting off with much here. Um, I'm using a bunch of mods, like I said. So this mod actually is just for remodeling arrows. So you can have like the same quiver for a whole bunch of different arrows. Uh, so just disregard that. So the only weapons that we have is a longbow and some steel arrows. And some fur armor. Uh, we have a couple of randomly generated items, I think, from the alternative alternative start mod, which I'm using. So we can sell those for some money, which is good. Um, horses, I believe, cost a thousand gold. And I only have 230, so I'm going to have to get some loot. But... Looking at this, this looks nice, and it's a value of 533, which is kind of, kind of weird. I mean, you shouldn't really start with that much. Um, but yeah, that, like I said, that's the alternative start mod. I have some healing potions, which is good. I'll go ahead and favorite those. Uh, some food, delicious. You know, this this looks really delicious here. I've always wanted to try that. It looks kind of weird, but it kind of looks like poop on a stick. <laughs> Um, this is just uh, a mod that I'm using. It's a kill move mod. Um, and, ooh, look, a shiny gem. Sell that. And some lockpicks. So let me go ahead and favorite my uh, my stuff here. I don't know if, if I want to use that, because I'm not really going to be using two-handed weapons, I don't think. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, um, I think I'm just going to play this character uh how I want to play it, so I'm not really going to take suggestions on, like, what I should level up in, you know? Just leave suggestions on things I should do. Okay, so... Ooh, flowers. Um, where are we? Yeah, no, world map, gotcha. We're right here. So, we're not far from Riverwood, which is, like, somewhere over here. And, I'm not sure what kind of horse I want to get. There's different kinds. Um... Whiterun is the closest place to get a horse, um, but I think they just have brown horses, which is okay, brown horses are cool, but there's some other neat colored horses that I could get. Um, so I might look around, but first I need to make some money, and maybe get some better equipment, because fur kind of sucks. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really happy to be doing this Let's Play. Um, I've been all excited for it this week, and I'm glad people left comments, so I appreciate it very much. And I hope this will continue to do to do well. Okay, so we could go into a dungeon and get some get some stuff, but I think I'll I won't do that. Just because if someone wants to leave a suggestion, you know, say, oh go go to this dungeon and do that or something. Bleak Falls Barrow is a good, a good one to do. It's it's a good, like, it's not too hard either. Like, I'm playing on expert difficulty, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so, I'm gonna... Uh, some some of the fights might be hard, and I'll be quick saving and reloading a lot. By the way, let's go ahead and quick save. Oh, good. Um, here are the standing stones. Or guardian stones, I should say. Um, I think this character, he's going to be like quite a mix of stuff. 
I think. He's gonna... He kind of overall, and I'm not really gonna focus on anything. But, I really like sneaking, so... I think I'm gonna do this one. Um, or the warrior, that would be my second... Second guess, but... We'll go ahead and pick Thief. Ooh, shiny. Uh, I am using realistic lighting with customization mod. Um, so at night, this game will be really dark. Um, which is okay, because I'm going to plan on using like torches and you know stuff like that to see. But it may get to the point where it's too dark that you guys won't be able to see, and that would be a problem. So... I may have to turn that off, or at least adjust the settings. Uh, let's go explore, let's get off the, the beaten path. There's a mine there, oh. Hello. You know what, maybe we will go into a mine. Just so we can get um, some stuff we can sell, you know. I really need the money to get the horse to complete the suggestion. So maybe we'll do that. Um, as you can probably notice, I have the sneak indicator turned off. I really like to play with the game altered to realism, so um, I hope that doesn't bother anyone. If any of the mods I have installed bother anyone, please let me know, because I will, you know, I will alter them if they get on people's nerves. Let's take you out. I think you see me. Yeah, you do. Let's try to ambush them. Most of the mods just alter, uh small things like that. There's no game breaking or overpowered mods or anything. Oh god, wolves. Don't kill me, Mr. Wolf. Oh god. Ow. Oh, kill move. And it missed. That's awesome. Get out of here. You have a pelt? Did I take that already? I might have. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, that'll be coming handy for making armor and stuff. Okay, I'm trying to get a, like, a vantage point to where I can kill this guy up here. But I don't think there's anyone, so... Maybe I'll just snipe him from a distance. Um, I will include the list of mods I'm using, or at least the main ones. Like, if it's just a texture replacer, I won't really add that. But if you have any questions about what I'm using, uh, feel free to ask. Because I will definitely tell you. Um, I'm kind of obsessed with modding the game, actually. I like to try new ones out and whatnot. Okay, I don't care if you see me. You're gonna die. A bad time to get lost, I wish I had, like, an axe or something. That'd be nice. Get out of here. You know what? Um, I'm gonna favor your hockey you. That way... I can punch you to death. There we go. <laughs> okay, uh, that's another mod too. Just add some random armor to the game. So, I need to get valuable things here. There's a torch that will come in handy. Um, that's valuable. That's valuable. That's valuable. I won't really bother with that. Um, I also don't know how I'm going to be uploading these videos. Um... I don't know if I'm going to include them in, like, different parts. Um, like, of, of course I'm going to upload the first episode all together, but I don't know if they might be too big. Like, they might be 40 minutes long to, like, an hour or something. It depends on how long it takes me to complete the suggestion. So I may in up, um, upload them in parts, so to speak. Um, I think I'll do that, actually. That seems to be the best way of doing it. Okay, um, so this is a mine here. As you can see, it is very dark. And there's a tripwire. We'll avoid that. I can't see anything. Maybe we'll find some good loot in here. Aren't you worried someone will wander in here? The entrance isn't exactly hidden, you know. This again? I told you. I hear people talking. someone standing guard out there. Don't forget the rock trap we rigged up. So, stop your worrying and get some rest. Your shift is coming up and I don't want you dozing off again like last time. Okay. He's going to bed. 
That's good. I just have to deal with you. Hmm. I probably can't one-shot anybody just yet. So... I'll try to hit you from a distance. Or maybe I should go after the uh, guy down there first. I'll go after this guy. If I can shoot him. Oh, he sees me. Shit. Oh no! I suck at shooting. Okay, come here. Come here. It's too high. There we go. Oh god, go away. And he woke up. That's great. He has a sword though, it looks like. Oh, well, they gladly take that. It's a murder, too. Okay, let's die. Oh, I forgot to do something. Um, I'll do that real quick. I have to activate a mod. I'm already getting some pretty good armor here. Look at that. Some steel. Steel sword and, um... Uh, studded armor. I'll put that on. That's better than what I'm wearing. I'm gonna be using light armor, I think. Uh, I just prefer it. I don't know why, I just do. Um, I also put a torch on so you guys can see. And I will f make you number two. There we go. Okay. How do I look now? A bit better. Okay, you have some more hide. My boots. You know, get my steel arrow back. Is hide boots better? Where are they? Oh. Um. They're the same, but I'll go ahead and put the hide boots on. I prefer hide over fur. I think it looks better. Oh, cool. I can, um. I can mine. Exciting. I don't actually like the smithing in this game very much. Um, I mean, I do, but I think it's kind of annoying to have to put perks into it. Um, especially if you're using mods that add armors, and they're like really low level armors, but you have to get like a weird ass perk to get it like really high up, like advanced armors or something. I think that's unnecessary. Um, ooh, what's on here? Tattered journal. I've had me working down here for days now. It's not the time that's getting to me though, it's these tunnels. I've told them countless times now to add extra support to the weak sections of the tunnel. If only we had more of those wooden beams that we reinforce with bronze bottoms. Honestly, if I hear the earth shift one more time above my head, I'll be so stressed I may stop drinking for good. I mean, what's a Nord without his mead? Indeed. Well, I think we know what happened to him. <laughs> okay, loot, loot, loot. That's not loot. Uh, nothing good here. Oh, here's the lever to lower the bridge, though. Nice. Uh, quick save, real quick. I'm gonna be doing that a lot. Oh. I hear people. Don't think we're alone. You check the entrance. I'm going to look over here. Over here. Oh God. I think he saw me. Yeah, he did. Okay. Uh, sword time. Okay, bring it on. Get out of here. Put you on fire. Ah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's the kill move mod I told you about, which I still need to activate. You can change the settings around. Um, ooh, that's a... I think that's Jace's Swords mod. That might be Weapons of the Third Era, though. I'll take that. Wow, damn, look at that. Okay. Some good loot. Um. Oh yeah, uh, it's in my powers here. I also have the 
Dova Kings relax, which is <laughs> really funny. Also, oh, yeah, do that too. That's an awesome ability. So just activate this real quick. So this allows me to adjust the kill move chance. Um, I'm only gonna do 50% chance. Uh, decapitation chance 30. Well, I don't. Even, I can't even take decapitate people though. Um, perk restriction bypass. This mod uh, allows you to. Um, uh, it puts like different kill moves based on the perks you have. So I'm gonna go and turn that. Uh, or bypass it so I can get all the kill moves, um, all the cool ones anyway. It doesn't make me overpowered or anything. Force perspective, no, just vanilla. And player immunity, I am not immune to kill moves. Okay, there we go. Let's quick save. This uh, mod actually applies to uh, all your characters, or it's individual for your characters. So if you want to change the settings for a certain character, you can, which is very cool.